Hi there, this is the January 2019 forecast for Gemini Risings. So starting out right at the first of the month, Mars will enter your 11th house when it moves into Aquarius. And Mars brings extra energy and passion and drive to whatever part of the sky it's in for us. If we're born during the day especially, it can also bring some setbacks or some frustration. And it's in a part of your sky relating to whatever groups or social structures and friends you're a part of. So you could have extra energy to put forth to networking or extra energy to put forth into projects you have with your friends. Just know that you want to think realistically and not be too impulsive because accidents or misunderstandings are more likely to happen if you go forward with too much speed and not enough thought. Then on the 5th, there's a new moon solar eclipse in your 8th house in Capricorn. And new moons are a time for setting intentions and new beginnings for the next six months in that area of your life. And this is illuminating a part of your sky relating to shared assets with others, whether that's on an intimate emotional level or that's money-wise, like a joint bank account. So maybe you want to brainstorm ways that you can attract what you want to bring in in that area of your life for the next six months forward. On the 7th, Venus enters your 7th house when it moves into Sagittarius. Venus can bring ease and a sense of flow to wherever it is for us, and it's in the house of relationships and partnership for you, so things could come a bit easier in that regard in the weeks to come. Then on the 13th, Jupiter and Sagittarius in your 7th house will be squaring Neptune and Pisces in your 10th house. And I talked about this at length in the yearly forecast video for your sign, which I'll link below, but on the 13th, this year-long aspect will be exact by degree, meaning it will be particularly prominent and in focus. And the risk here is that you can focus so much on relationships that it... Sorry, New York. The risk here is that you can focus so much on relationships and building that part of your life that you dissolve structures in your career. So you want to make sure that the focus you're putting into your relationships is tearing down boundaries in your career and not necessarily taking down existing structures that are in place to help you. On the 20th, later on in the month, the sun will enter your ninth house when it moves into Aquarius, which just generally means that the area of life that may be lit up for you may be relating to your high-reaching goals, foreign travel, any spiritual developments. Your mind could turn to these things and you could think about them more starting from the 20th into Aquarius season. Next day on the 21st, there is a full moon total lunar eclipse in your third house in Leo. And full moons are generally culmination times from the past six month cycle of that part of our life. And it's in a house relating to short term travel, siblings, communication, writing, those things. So on the 21st, it could be a time to celebrate or put into manifestation something you've been working on for the past six months in that area of your life. On the 22nd, Venus will be conjunct Jupiter in your 7th house in Sagittarius. So the 22nd in particular, the two traditionally most beneficial planets and luckiest planets will be together in a house relating to relationships for you. So it could be a really great day uh, for like a date or to get together with a friend, that sort of thing. It could be a really nice day for that. Finally, on the 31st, Saturn and Capricorn will sextile Neptune and Pisces. And this is an aspect of opportunity between your 8th and 10th houses. So the way that you are developing with other people's money or some growth in that area of your life could really positively allow for creativity or growth in your career. So that's something to look forward to. And so this is a really awesome month to see how your relationships and what they are bringing into your life are changing and growing for the better. I hope this was helpful. I do do private consultations at the link below, and the 2019 Gemini forecast is also below. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you next time.